Welcome back to Local 10. It's almost 6.45 on this Tuesday, and Halloween may be the one time of year that we spend any time at all thinking about bats, right? But this flying animal, some consider creepy, is actually very necessary to our South Florida ecosystem. And some are actually on the verge of becoming extinct. So we went searching for some non-Halloween bats. <laughs> If you've ever been to Westlake Park in Hollywood, you've probably been to the top of the tower at the ANCOB Nature Center. But today, we are rolling through the gravel back roads, searching for a critically endangered species. Okay, let's go set it up. Elena Suarez is a Broward County Natural Resources Specialist. She's setting up an acoustic monitoring device to listen to bat calls as they fly overhead. So I'm just gonna angle the microphone facing north um, as part of the bat surveying protocol. This is what the bat calls sound like. Well, the hope today is to detect the Florida bonneted bat, the endangered species here in Florida. The bonneted bat is about six and a half inches with a wingspan of 20 inches, so they're, they're a good sized bat. And there are less than 1,000 bonneted bats left, most all here in these South Florida counties and nowhere else in the world. A bigger high-flying bat that is very much a mystery. Since such little information is known about this species, um, they're roosting, uh, sites, their foraging behaviors, what they're eating, uh, any little information we can contribute helps gives us a better picture. Known to live in man-made bat boxes like this, or the barrel tile roofs of old homes in Coral Gables, even mangrove swamps and the Everglades. But all of our South Florida construction and development is threatening to wipe out one of only 14 species of bats in our state. So because of this habitat loss, they lose their roosting sites, their foraging sites, and it doesn't sustain their population. I know some of you are scared of bats. You even call them flying rats, but I'm going to give you a reason to like them. In fact, maybe even save them. They are a natural pesticide. They eat mosquitoes. In fact, they eat millions of our insects, and they also pollinate our plants. But just like us humans, these rarely seen bats are vulnerable to hurricanes and disease, while also very sensitive to insecticides and pesticides. Their protection is essential to save their species, which is why Suarez will keep recording these bat calls, attempting to crack the code on better ways to increase the numbers of this very special animal that helps keep our South Florida ecosystem online, but also get those mosquitoes out of here. See, you like them now, don't you? The bonneted bat was added to the federal list of endangered species less than 10 years ago, and their survival is now in peril, mostly due to us humans. The bat detection project is underway and runs in tandem with Broward County and the FWC. See, Julie, I'll make you love every animal before I'm done with my animal advocacy. You are. <laughs>